I feel very positive about this budget. I think it's the best budget that I've been able to be involved in. For my constituents, it's a no tax budget, which is really, really important. Um, we are not taxing and we're actually putting more money than ever into the rainy day fund. So my constituents know for years we did not have a rainy day fund. Uh, we actually last year made a payment of $22 million into the rainy day fund and that was the first time in a decade. So we're very excited. We've had a large payment into the rainy day fund and it's not our money here in this building. It's the taxpayers money. So everything that we do, we need to be fiscal stewards and make sure that we treat it like it is their money. It's not our money. So we want to make sure uh, we're saving money and we're not taxing when we don't have to, which is really important. So that's exciting for my constituents out there that don't want to be taxed anymore and feel oppressive burden of taxes. One really exciting item is education. We have more education dollars from the state than ever before going into the Hazleton Area School District, Crestwood Area School District, Berwick, and Northwest, which is very important for those communities because hopefully the school boards will not have to raise school property taxes, which is what we're trying to prevent here on the state level as best we can. This budget deals with safety. Uh, people want to make sure that we're fighting crime in our communities. And in past years, there were times where budgets were so late and they were not having any state police cadet classes. So we now are funding three Pennsylvania state police classes, which is really exciting for the state of Pennsylvania. We need to get those new recruits out there and we need to fight crime and drugs, drug trafficking in our communities. So it's it's really exciting that we're able to do that. So these are really positive things in our budget that are going to impact us on the local level and make a difference here in Pennsylvania.